In this lesson, we're going to focus on what it means for figures to be similar and also a briefly introduce a scale factor. So similar figures, those are figures that are the exact same shape, the same shape, but they don't necessarily have to be the same size. So those are the two most important characteristics there. The same shape, not necessarily the same size. Okay, to be similar, figures have to have two things happen. One, they have to have corresponding sides that are proportional, and two, corresponding angles that are equal. So what that means, when you're having corresponding sides that are proportional, the sides that kind of correspond, they go together, and we'll talk about that more in detail. So for example, in this uh, figure on the left, two and four would correspond to each other. If you figure that out, that ratio, two to four, notice it equals one half. And if we pick any other pair of corresponding sides here, say, for instance, you might do 5 and 10. 5 over 10 also equals 1 half. To be proportional, those would all end up equaling the exact same ratio. And if you check 4 over 8, 7 over 14, you're still getting that similar thing. Corresponding angles have to be exactly the same. They have to be equal. So here's a right angle. This angle corresponds to it. It's also a right angle. Okay. Technically, if, to be called corresponding sides and angles, you're going to be in the same relative position in two different shapes. Now, sometimes it's kind of easy, like in this first example. We could check, like, angle B and angle E, they're in the same relative position, they're corresponding. Um, angle A and angle D, they're in the same relative position, they're corresponding. And notice they're also equal, that has to be true. Um, C and F, those are corresponding. That one's easy because they're rotated the same way, and you can kind of see the idea. But sometimes they get a lot trickier. Like if you notice here below, in this shape, or these two triangles, uh, they're turned and they're flipped, so sometimes you have to really pay attention to the markings. So hopefully you can notice here there's like this one symbol and this one as well. Those sides are going to correspond to each other. So you're going to say like SR and PM, those are the corresponding sides. You might also notice like um, these angles have the same mark here, so angle P and angle S, and notice they're going to be congruent. Those are corresponding to each other. And you could find a few more, but you have to be really careful if they're flipped or turned, so just pay attention to that. Okay, the last thing we need to learn today is called scale factor. And scale factor is really important. We're going to use it a ton in this unit. It's the number that we use to multiply the lengths of a figure to stretch or shrink it to a similar image. So if, you're, if you would notice before, uh, these two triangles below are similar. U, V, W, and X, Y, Z are similar. They have all the same angles, and their sides are in proportion to each other, even though we only see it, um, one pair of sides that we can actually tell that for sure. But what is the scale factor from U, V, W to X, Y, Z? So what I'm asking here is if I take this little triangle and I go to the big triangle, what number do I have to multiply it by? We're going to have to pay attention to this, 3 and 12. So basically, you're actually asking yourself, 3 times what equals 12? That one's pretty easy. You're going to know that 3 times 4 equals 12. So the scale factor from U, V, W to X, Y, Z is 4. When we work backwards, the second question asks us, what's the scale factor from X, Y, Z to U, V, W? So this time you're saying, what do I have to do to this big triangle to get to the little one? So basically, 12 times what equals 3? To me, personally, there's a couple ways to do this. I think kind of the easiest way is I know that 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So in this specific case, dividing is like multiplying by the reciprocal. So that's the same thing as 12 times 1 fourth equals 3. So in this case, the scale factor from XYZ to UVW is 1 fourth. The other way that you can do that is just simply do 3 divided by 12 as a fraction and then reduce it. You'll get 1 fourth. Okay? You could have done that same thing up in this one above where you did 12 divided by 3 and lo and behold, that equals 4. So scale factor is always what you multiply 
to get from one shape to the next shape. Okay, that's a little bit about similarity and scale factor. Hope it helps you.